Welcome to this edition of the Flat Hat Journal. My name is Ranger Sharon Robertson and I am standing far in front of this vine-covered tree on the Blue Ridge Parkway to bring you an important lesson about poison ivy. You may have heard the saying, leaves of three, let them be, and for a good reason. Poison ivy leaves are always in groups of three, with the middle leaflet growing longer than the outer two. The leaves are shiny, bright green that turn an attractive bright red or reddish yellow with white berries in the fall. Poison ivy grows as a low spreading plant or as a climbing vine on a tree where the stems look like a fuzzy, hairy rope. It is a toxic oil found in all parts of the plant, from the roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and seeds that make you itch. The oil clings to everything it touches, your skin, clothes, shoes, pet's fur, and garden tools. If you're lucky, you may only have a small skin rash that itches for a few days. However, if you're like me, you could have a severe skin rash and blistering requiring a visit to your doctor for treatment. If you do have contact with poison ivy, wash thoroughly with soap, dishwashing liquid, or swab with alcohol as soon as possible. A soap that removes oil works best. Poison ivy does have some redeeming qualities as it provides valuable winter forage and shelter for a variety of wildlife such as songbirds, reptile, deer, amphibians, and game birds who can eat the plants and its berries with no harmful effects. Unfortunately, humans aren't so lucky. So keep an eye out for this pesky plant when you're in the park to avoid the itch.